Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm wearing a fur coat in the spring. Why you ask? Because I feel like I had the channel my inner cookie lion for today's review. This is TPH by Taraji P. Henson, the actress that you might know from Empire Cookie Lion. She also was in Hustle and Flow, she was in Think Like a Man, she was in What Men Want, Hidden Figures, Google her. But she's another black actress that decided to make a natural hairline. The only kind of like thing about that is I don't think we've ever really seen Taraji rock her natural hair. And maybe that's why she created a line, because she didn't like how products worked on her hair. Maybe that's why she's always in wigs and weaves. I don't know. But here I am trying out the products. You know this is going to be an unbiased video because one, I went out and bought these products with my own money. I ordered them from Target during quarantine, so I had to just, you know, pick and ship. So fortunately, all these products ranged from $10 to $15. So I was like, okay, Taraji at Target, making it affordable. I'm all for it. You also know I'm a sucker for good packaging. Look at these cute colors. Love the packaging. These different types of unique nozzles definitely caught my attention. Now for the big test that you guys know I have to check for is the ingredients. But fortunately, once I did my digging, all the products that I purchased are sulfate paraben silicone free. Thank God. I noticed that once you even pick up the bottle, there's no ingredients on the back of this shampoo and the conditioner. It is on the back of these two bottles. It's not on the back of this hair mask, nor is it on the gel. So it's like, why would you put it on some, but not the others? And then as I did my detective work and I had to look underneath and I had to peel off this little, what looks like, you know, the price tag scanner thing. Bruh, thank God I still have 2020 vision. So one, even though I love the look of the bottles, I don't like that the ingredients are like hidden underneath the price tag. You have to literally take off the whole sticker and there's more ingredients on the sticky part of the sticker. Why though? I did not purchase all the products. She released 18 products all at once. That's a pretty intense in your face type of launch. We usually get like a shampoo, a conditioner, and a styler, but she gave us a lot to choose from. So I didn't want all of them. I just chose the ones that really stuck out to me that I thought would work best for my hair type. Now, are these products new? Technically not that new. I'm a little late to the game, but I'm kind of glad because every single review I've seen, people don't like these products. I think I've seen maybe one positive review and I think two of you wrote me on Instagram, but that's kind of it. So I wasn't, you know, too inclined or excited to jump into trying something that everybody hates. But I'm not saying I'm gonna start off this review with a biased, like negative attitude. I kind of just came in like, why do I have so many faux fur coats you ask? Don't worry about it. So with all that being said, I am gonna have an open mind so I can see how these products really work for me. Now the first thing I need to try is the edge control. Let's grab this one. So the edge control is called Slick. It's for curly and coily hair. This is the first edge control I've seen in a squeeze tube. So that's interesting. Little pop top like that. Wow. So I'm gonna treat this like toothpaste, very thick toothpaste on my little toothbrush. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit there. Oh, very thick. Hmm, okay. So far, so good. Little swoop there. Let's get some more. <laughs> Look how slow this comes out. Oh, you gotta work out to so use this edge control. I'm not the baby hair slayer that I want to be. Squeeze. 
All right, it's pretty shiny. Slicked it down. We'll see how long they stay down. I'll try to come back at the end of this video later on tonight. Now let's move on to the shampoo and conditioner that are made for your scalp. So starting off with the Master Cleanse, I'm just going to twist the nozzle and apply this directly to my scalp. The very first thing that you will notice with these products, oh, is the smell. The smell is so strong and I'm glad I'm not alone in this. Once I watched some other reviews, I noticed that everybody hates the smell. It smells like a super strong cologne, not perfume, cologne of somebody's uncle. This is somebody's uncle's cologne. And you guys know I'm very big on smell, so that could turn me off a product alone. But I continued because the nozzle is so cool. So once you twist the top open, you'll see this is a very watery consistency. Like there's no slip in this at all. It's not creamy at all. It literally feels like water. So I do think that the tri-tip applicator is very unique. It's a very cooling sensation. It has witch hazel water, eucalyptus oil, and tea tree oil. I do usually like a product that lathers. It kind of makes me feel like it's clean. This I didn't feel like if I was using enough or not because it doesn't bubble up. And I also didn't really think it should travel down to the lengths of my hair. So I kind of feel like it's as great for your scalp, but it also made me want to use a shampoo after using it for the rest of my hair. And I don't want to feel like I have to use two products to necessarily clean my hair, but that's kind of what this product left me feeling. So after I rinsed it out, my hair felt, you know, clean, at least my roots did, but the rest of my hair was kind of untouched. Then I moved on to the conditioner, the same twist nozzle, and it's also a very strong smell. The conditioner has aloe, shea butter, eucalyptus oil, and peppermint. So more great ingredients, especially for your scalp. Same tri-tip applicator. This is really interesting because usually you don't always apply your conditioner to your scalp. Shampoo is for the scalp, conditioner is for the lengths of your hair. But you also don't want a dry scalp, so I do like the idea of conditioning your scalp. So I did apply it the same as the shampoo, and I did have a slight, you know, tingling sensation, but nothing crazy like normal scalp products. Once again, I didn't feel like I could use this on the length of my hair. So I ended up just squeezing it into my palm. It's a very lightweight cream conditioner, not very thick at all. And I smoothed this down one side of my hair to see how much slip it had and see if I could detangle. Detangling was pretty rough. I would not say this product has great slip, but I also think it's really only for your scalp. So now am I supposed to use another conditioner after using my conditioner and it's kind of doing a lot so overall conclusion on these two products i love the color i love the applicator bottle i hate the smell and i think that they're good for your scalp but what you gonna do about the rest of your actual hair predicament so after detangling was pretty much a fail of the mint condition on one side of my hair I decided not to detangle the other side so I could see how much slip the hair mask has. This is the Mother Earth, a moisturizing clay mask, it's supposed to soften, define, and defrizz your hair for wavy, curly, and coily hair. So now we're getting a little bit more specific for curly textured hair. Kaolin clay, coconut oil, and apple cider vinegar. All right, really liking these ingredients. Let's give it a smell. They're just so strong. I feel like there had to have been one person in that production meeting that was like, don't you guys think these are just a little bit too strong? And everyone just looked at Taraji like, no, we think it's perfect, Taraji. We think it's perfect. You should have listened to the intern. The consistency is like a clay. You know, it's pretty thick, orangey beige color. So I spread it on both sides of my hair and it wasn't that easy to detangle with, but it was much better than the mint condition. So I put in my hair and left it on for 20 minutes and I rinsed it out. Once I rinsed it out, I was pleasantly surprised to see that my curls actually looked very moisturized. They did look defined, they looked very shiny, so I was pleased with the mask. After I rinsed out my mask, it's now time to apply a 
styling products, so of course I had to get the gel. I wasn't really interested in the styling milk because usually milks don't do much for my hair. They don't have enough hold or enough moisture, so I was like, eh. And it had silicone, so it was definitely a pass for me. But the gel is called Tough Cookie. Love it, clever, cookie lion. I get it. But the styling defining gel is supposed to slick, shape, and define for curly and coily hair. And it's infused with biobub, flaxseed, and castor oil. Oh. Every time I sniff these, I get a slight headache. Oh, I'm not even that sensitive to smells. So if you're someone that's like really sensitive to scents and smells, fragrances, don't even look at these products when you're in Target. Just like run past them. But it has a very watery consistency. It did feel good applying to my hair. I feel like it does have actually kind of a good slip for being a styling product and for being a gel. Uh, I was able to rake it in, smooth it, scrunch it, and get some good definition. And it looked pretty promising just off of first impression. Then I let my hair dry at about 85% and then it was time to diffuse. Grab my diffuser on medium low heat, I diffused it. This is how my hair turned out. All right. The gel dried to a nice cast, gave me a good hold for definition. And fortunately, when I smelled my hair, it didn't really smell too strong. Like the scent doesn't last forever. So that was good. And I really liked how defined my curls looked. So far, so good. The next product I wanted to try is her leave-in conditioner called Ride or Die, love the name. And this is a detangling leave-in conditioner. The tangle condition protect for all hair types and it's a spray leave-in. I did try this on day two when my hair was a little bit more dry. So starting off on refreshed damp curls, I just added some water, then I grabbed my Ride or Die leave-in conditioner, spritzing it all over my hair. And even the leave-in has this darn scent. Somebody was so in love with this scent, they were like, put it in everything. Just sprinkle a little bit in everything. But after, I will say my curls looked very shiny and very moisturized, and I was able to detangle. I usually never detangle on my refresh days, but I accidentally was just because it was gliding through. So I did like the slip in the leave-in, and then I put on the gel. So I raked in some more gel, smooth and scrunched, and these were my results. Looking very good. I got some volume, I got a lot of definition, it looks a little extra shinier than it did on the first day. I'm very surprisingly pleased with both of these stylers, aside from the smell. But here's the funny thing about this gel. The very first line, it says, always up for the challenge, tough cookie, never, crumbles or flakes. And it's funny that they would be that bold to put that on the package because the number one complaint I've seen all over YouTube is that this gel flakes. Everybody has actual video footage of just their shirts covered in white little speckles. They could shake it out and you could see all these little white flakes all over the place. Flakier than the friend that says, I'll let you know if they're coming to your party. So I was already really nervous about that. But I purposely wore black for you guys and I'm gonna shake it out extra hard to show you. I didn't get any flakes. I don't know why. If anything, I have more uh, white fur on here than I do white flakes. But I mean, I have a, a couple little dots. But that's honestly like a normal thing with any product that I use, especially on this day three hair. So I've applied this gel three days in a row and that's the worst that I've seen. It's just a couple flakes here and there. I almost feel like left out. But then I thought maybe they are pairing it with the style milk, which does have silicone, which could create product buildup. And then maybe the cream and the gel aren't friends, which is very possible. But then I saw my friend Raina's video, AKA Happy Curl, Happy Girl, and she only used the gel and even she experienced flakes. There goes my theory. I don't know. I don't know why some people are getting flakes and some people aren't, but the most hilarious thing on this bottle is that it says, use a nickel sized amount. A nickel? 
A nickel size? <laughs> when has any curly girl, is this for curly hair? Who is this claiming? Curly and coily hair. It should just be illegal at this point to put a nickel size, a dime size, any type of metal coin sized amount as a suggestion on a bottle. We're not gonna do it. We never are. We're gonna open this bottle and we're gonna scoop for our life. And the last two products that I got in her line are the TPH Honey Fresh, a clarifying shampoo with moisture and her Make It Rain, a hydration rich conditioner. So let's hop back in the shower, applying this to wet hair, this shampoo has the same darn smell. Why? Why? It smells like pine. It has willow bark extract, aloe and honey. There's nothing sweet about this. But I did like that this one actually lathered. So now I got my bubbling sensation. I, I felt more comfortable applying this to the lengths of my hair. So I feel like my hair is getting a really good clean now. And once I rinsed it out, it did feel like squeaky clean. Not very moisturized, even though my curls still looked nice, but it was like an actual clarifying clean that I think is important to have every blue moon. So I was actually satisfied with the shampoo aside from the not preferable smell. Moving on to the conditioner, has aloe, quinoa, avocado oil, and moringa oil. So now let's try to detangle with this one. All right. Promising, promising. I am seeing some good slip here. I'm liking it way more than the mint condition. So this one I do feel like is for the actual length of your hair. It had enough slip to where I felt comfortable finger detangling. So here's how my curls looked after detangling both sides. Pretty moisturized, defined. I'm happy with it. So after that wash day, I think I applied more of the leave-in conditioner and the gel. And then yesterday I applied just the gel. And then today I refreshed again with the leave-in conditioner and the gel. And these are my results today. I'm very happy with how defined my curls look. My curls are soft, there's no crunch. So I was able to get that hold and then diffuse it away to get to this look right here. And I was, happy to use it all week long and I don't smell the smell thank god so as long as you can get past that initial application it eventually goes away so in conclusion should you run out and buy these products well no not right now because we're all in quarantine and these products are not worth dying for should you order them immediately mm, I would probably if I had to like go back and repurchase I probably would only buy the gel. I don't know why I didn't get the flaking results that so many other people did, but it worked really well for me. The edge control, let's look. It's feeling a little soft already, so I don't know if this would be like a long lasting edge control. Update, the edge control did not last. It's already <laughs> done, it's only been a couple hours. If anything, the edge control might be flaking. Fail. Now, the rest of the line, I mean, they did their job. I think they worked. I just don't know if you need them because you can get these same type of results from other brands without getting a migraine from the smell. If you happen to be over 50 years old and someone's grandma that likes the smell of strong cologne, by golly, you're gonna love these products. I just don't see anyone under the age of 20 wanting to smell like this. Like you should be wanting to smell like Bath and Body Works lotion. Those are the scents you should strive for. Nothing like this. I mean, I'm 30 and I don't like the smell of these products. Actually, I'm posting this video on my birthday. I'll be 31. Today's my birthday. What do you know? Happy birthday to me. This wasn't a birthday video at all. So those are all of my opinions about the TPH by Taraji line. Let me know what you guys think. Are you one of the people that absolutely hate these products or are you one of the token few that actually enjoy it? 
let me know in the comments below. And since today is my birthday, I will gladly accept the free birthday gift of giving this video a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, maybe following me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee and TikTok because we all just gotta get on TikTok, so, you know. But all of those presses are highly welcome. That's all I really want for my birthday. I post new videos every week, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.